Ciao everyone, welcome to Venice, the city of canals and one of the most enchanting destinations in the world. I'm Splendid Feet and today we're going to explore the magic of Venice, so grab your gelato and let's dive in. Our journey begins in the heart of Venice, St. Mark's Square, also known as Piazza San Marco. This historic square is surrounded by stunning architecture, including the famous St. Mark's Basilica and the Campanile Tower. Don't forget to climb the Campanile Tower for panoramic views of the city. It's a breathtaking experience you won't want to miss. St. Mark is the patron saint of Venice and it's after him that the most important ecclesiastical building in Venice is named which is constructed in an Eastern style, taking inspiration from Greek, Islamic, and Byzantine architectural styles. Next up, we're heading to the iconic Rialto Bridge, the oldest and most famous bridge that spans the Grand Canal. It's a bustling spot for shopping, dining, and taking in the views. The Rialto over the Grand Canal is an elegant arch stone bridge Form of three sets of stairs divided by arcades with shops, it's a great spot for photography. Now let's talk about what to do in Venice. A gondola ride is a must. Glide through the serene canals while your gondolier sings Italian melodies. It's a romantic and unforgettable experience. Taking a gondola ride is one of those things you won't regret during your Venice experience. This particular ride takes you to discover the historic sites along the shoreline, admiring marvelous palaces and churches, and exploring the romantic secret waterways of Venice. Venice Italy, known for its winding canals, historic architecture, and delicious Italian cuisine, is also home to some of the best gelato in the world. Located near the Rialto Bridge, Suso is the fantastic gelateria recommended by everyone. The pistachio was one of the best I've ever had. One of the most magical destinations in Italy, Venice is a unique city surrounded by turquoise canals leading out to the Adriatic Sea. The city is romantic and full of history, offers incredible things to do either for a short stay or multi-holiday. If you're visiting Italy, discovering its cultural rich cities and beautiful landscapes, then take some time to visit Venice. You won't regret a minute of it. What makes Venice so different? It is built on 118 islands connected with 400 bridges, which makes getting there and navigating it challenging. You cannot drive into historic Venice. The city can be navigated by boats or foot only. Vaporetto is the most popular and convenient way to go from one place to the other in Venice. The popular water bus or Vaporetto is what locals use to reach every corner of Venice because it is the cheapest and most efficient way to move around. Stroll around Jewish Venice. While on the most days, the streets around St. Mark's Square and Rialto Bridge are instantly busy with camera welding visitors. There are still parts of the old city that have retained their centuries-old character. Located in Canareggio, one of the six sisters of Venice, the Jewish ghetto, is the oldest in the world. A small area of one of Venetian largest districts, the ghetto belongs to the northern side of the town near Santa Lucia train station and public transportation to the mainland. Though it has been founded more than 500 years ago, 
Today, the charming Jews ghetto keeps the same authentic ethnic features and a Jewish community of about 450 people. Venice is truly a city like no other, where every corner is a piece of art, and every moment is a memory waiting to happen. So when you plan your next adventure, make sure Venice is on your list. Thanks for joining me today on this whirlwind tour of Venice, Italy. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel adventure. Arrivederci!